Hey friends, how's it going? This is Jesse again, Animal Behaviorist. Uh, me and Honey are out here taking a little hike. Uh, typically, you know, when I get her up in the morning, you know, to take her out, uh, she's full of energy, has a whole lot of excitement. And uh, I find that like with most dogs, you know, they anxious to get out there, smell, explore, just get out the house just like kids are. So one of the things that I try to do prior to doing any training, I try to get them some kind of exercise in, you know, to burn off a lot of the excess energy. And a lot of that depends on what the, uh, you know, what the commands are that, that I'm teaching that particular day, you know what I'm saying? But I think it's always, at least in my experience, it's always better, you know, to have the dog, you know, well balanced, you know what I'm saying? You don't want them too high, you don't want them too low. So, honey. This is honey again, you know. Let's go, baby. See, look how tennis she is. She got a little exercise in, you know, it's a beautiful environment out here. We don't have a lot of distractions. We did see a couple of horses earlier. But this is a good environment right here. You know, I like to take the places where she can, you know, get out and, 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 and it, it kind of inspires her uh, her natural instincts as a dog, you know, just to be out here, you know, around the forest and, you know, other little animals and stuff like that, you feel me? And this is a good place to train too, because it may be a time where you may need her to come. You may need her to stop. Like right now, we got two horses coming up. So this is perfect. I'm gonna keep rolling. <laughs> your dog disciplined enough to where you know they don't uh, uh frighten the horses or you know they don't create a situation you know what i mean so or get they sales hurt you know one kick to honey and it's over so that's a good uh uh, uh example of why come stay uh stop all of those particular things wait wait is is, is an interesting exercise because it's a lot of people get it confused with stay Stay is typically, you know, more of a long-term command. While wait, you know, it's just like waiting at the door, waiting to get up out the car, uh, waiting to cross the street, you know, certain things like that. And then the wait exercise, it's pretty much simple. Come here, mama. Wait. Act. Wait. Okay. All right, well, we're not gonna get a whole lot of out of honey right now. What I'd like to do is later on, probably a different other little environment, you know, I'm gonna try to illustrate exactly how the weight concept works. And, uh, you know, basically uh, give you a couple other examples on, on why it's useful to use this command. Honey! 